Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see a for loop. So the for loop is used whenever you wanted to assign some values to the particular variable and that variable will be keep on executing. Example say if I want to ping to the n number of servers, then uh, you can simply say that I wanted to replace that variable value continuously then it's going to be uh, executed something so example over here i'm saying that um, uh, for i'm writing some variable okay this is some uh, variable over here say variable whatever it is the variable and uh, the variable i'm assigning some values to that variable over here it is that values to variable so what this is going to do already here is that these variables i am going to these values i am going to assign to this variable okay and uh, i am going to execute say uh, do something over here echo and uh, print that variable over here okay and done so what happens it is that so if you want to do something ping okay so then continuously wanted to ping 100 servers or 200 servers verify that okay this server is up this server is up this server is done something like that then every time you you what you have to do ping server name ping server name ping server name right here the ping is the ping command is standard but that server name is going to keep on changing the server name so that that's why what it's going to do over here it is that it's going to change that uh, uh, value of that uh, server name and it's going to ping all the servers so this example same for loop i'm going to create this script and say vi for loop over here and uh, execute uh, for loop example okay and say for loop i'm going to do something like for i i'm taking that i as a variable and assigning some some values over here so before that what i'm going to do here it is that i'm going to create some um, file okay host file something like this and say i'm going to ping all the servers okay maybe something like uh, uh, local host i'm going to say 127.0.0.1 and 127.0.0.2 or i'm going to execute something like uh, like arkit or um, maybe google.com okay or um, arkit.co.in something like this so i'm going to ping this many servers and uh, bring the result over here okay say again i'm going to execute uh, for loop say i am assigning some uh, values over here says um, cat host file that is the correct name we have created yes then say do uh, ping iphone c and one time it's going to ping only one time to the dollar i and done or we can also um, execute some something over here says um, and values or something like this or if condition maybe so say if statement and uh, I'm going to write uh, maybe we can assign this value some something or else say dollar question mark and say if dollar sorry valid dollar valid value is greater than one if it is greater than one then execute uh, echo statement saying that uh, Post is not 
reachable okay and say dollar i over here okay i'm calling dollar ho i value is that if it is greater than one then which means that the dollar is not reachable else i'm saying that um, echo host is up fi so i am going to for loop this one and uh, i am going to execute okay for loop dot xc enter and say it's going to verify the host is up the host is up the host is up is going to ping another host say 1.2 the host is up and again it's going to ping one more uh, host whether uh, the google.com is reachable or not so here actually my dns is not properly working maybe it says yes host is up host is up host is up so all the results are fine it is pingable in the sense there is no packet loss so all the hosts are pingable something like this okay or maybe i can uh, do something is that it is little bit confusing over here so maybe the uh, ping output so the ping output i am going to redirect to slash tmp slash uh, ping results something like this then it's going to verify our uh, stuff maybe i am going to write maybe other uh, host which is not uh, pingable over here okay maybe something like 192.192.0.1 something like this or two so which is not exist actually and i'm going to execute this for loop say the local host is up and uh, the host is up and another host is up and it's going to verify that uh, google host maybe it is up or not it's going to be show the result now let's see that okay uh, tech arcade is not okay because the host is not reachable and say one more google site is up and airkt dot site is up and 192.192.0.0 is also up okay so that is the values we are we got in the sense the all the host you can go and ping and verify that value maybe i am going to give you some more example in this uh, for loop so how it the for loop uh, works one for loop something like this i'm going to give and say uh, edit this for loop and say um, one more example for for loop okay so we are going to write some another example maybe uh, i'm going to take i as a variable and i'm assigning uh, some values one two three four five and do echo dollar i and that so i'm not writing anything over here simple which is going to print the one two three four five values over here oh sorry the one the echo is wrong over here echo same sh and one for loop say one two three four five that's it so it's going to what are the values you assign to that i value and it's going to be printed that's about the for loop uh, example thanks for watching stay tuned please comment your uh, valuable feedback on the for loop thanks please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask